Hello everyone, welcome to this series of science lessons. In this presentation, we will study about chapter 1. Matter in our surroundings. When we take a look at our surroundings, we saw a large variety of things having different shapes, sizes and even the feel of the surface, that is texture. Everything in the universe is made up of materials which scientists have named matter. Whatever you look, whatever you feel and whatever you touch, everything is made up of matter. And matter occupies space and have some mass. Every matter we look at or feel have some occupy some space and have some mass. In the earlier times, Indian philosophers classified matter in the form of five basic elements. They named as Pancha Tattva. Pancha Tattva. The five basic elements are air, earth, fire, sky and water. Even ancient Greek philosophers had similar idea about matter. Today, scientists classify matter as two parts. First one is based on its physical properties and the second one is based on its chemical nature. In this chapter, we will study about physical properties of matter. Physical nature of matter. Matter is made up of particles. Is the nature of matter is continuous or particulate? In order to answer that, we need to use the idea that matter is made up of particles. Uh, pour some water into the beaker, add some salt or sugar and stir it well. You can notice salt or sugar that you have added to the water. The particles of salt or sugar get into spaces between particles of water. Assume this is a particles of water and the particles of sugar or salt get in between these two. Particles of salt or sugar get into spaces in the water particles. How small are these particles of matter? Particles are very small and it is very difficult to see in our naked eyes. Characteristics of particles of matter. What are the characteristics or what are the features of particles of matter. Particles of matter have space in between them. In the example of adding sugar or salt into water, you can notice that these particles are evenly distributed in the water. Particles of one type of matter get into spaces between the particles of other type of matter. This shows that there is enough space between particles of matter. Particles of matter are continuously moving. Now let us see activity 1.4. Take two glasses or beakers filled with water. Put a drop of blue ink or red ink in the first beaker. Put a drop of honey in the second beaker don't stir both the beakers what do you observe after some time in the first case and in the second case in the first case where you add ink into water they intermix quickly whereas in the second case when you add honey the time taken to intermix with the water is too long compared to time taken by ink to dissolve in water Particles of matter are continuously moving and those particles have an energy called kinetic energy. As the temperature rises, the movement of these particles also increases, thereby increasing the kinetic energy of these particles. The particles move faster. So we can say that as temperature increases, the kinetic energy of particles also increases. Coming back to the previous discussion, adding ink in one beaker and, and adding honey in other beaker. They intermix each other by getting into spaces between the particles. 
this intermixing of particles of two different types of matter on their own is called diffusion you can observe that on heating diffusion becomes faster because kinetic energy increases and particles move even faster particles of matter attract each other particles of matter have forces acting between them this force keep particle together the strength of this attraction varies from particles to particles the content of this recording is borrowed from karnataka textbook society bangalore under fair usage policy this video is presented by hawari technologies please do hit subscribe button to get more content thank you